Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Kingfisher's YouTube channel. Don't forget to like our video, subscribe to our channel, and press the bell icon. Today I'm doing bait as well as trace clinic for Dorado. Okay, what we require for this one is going to be our treble hook. This is a four extra strong. I've just taken one out of the packet to make it life easier for us. Our bead, glow in the dark, orange, pink or red, it's up to you. Trusty mustard scissors. And of course, anything from 18 kilo Kingfisher line, leader line that is, all the way up to 28 kilos. Up to you. And of course, number three power swivel, standard swivel, that works for everything done. Okay, so let's start. What I need, some of our leader line. This one here is 28 kilos. And I'm using a heavier line just so that you guys can actually see it. About a meter in length. 1.2. <clears throat> okay. Treble hook. And this is a 3633DNP. In other words, it's a Dura tin, silver in color, and it's needle point. It is extremely sharp. I'm using the silver one, uh, the DT, Dura tin, for the simple reason that I'll be using a, um, if it's a dead bait, a sardine. Or if it's a live bait, I'll be using a mozzie. If it's a black hook, I'll be using a mackerel for my live bait. Okay, so here we go. Again, silver hook, silver bait. Uh, there we go. And to attach it, all I'm gonna do is a figure of eight. So here we go. One, two, three. Take it from behind. Open up. There's our figure of eight. Lubricate, pull down. Be very careful. Treble hooks are extremely sharp. And there's three of them. Three points to go in your hand. Just give us a bit of a pull just to make sure everything is nice and tight and straight. I'm going to grab one of my number three power swivels. All I'm going to do is take my glow in the dark pink or red bead, slide it down, take my number three power swivel, I'm just going to take my treble hook once again, stick it in there just to pull the knot tight, there we go, I'd hate my, my hands to slip there and get a treble in your hand, okay, so there we go guys, let that one go down, and remember this is most probably going to be for a dead bait, and to bait it up, I'll show you right now how we do that one. And all we're gonna do, if it's a dead sardine, let's pin it through the nose. If it was a live one, I'll just pin it through the back. Okay, here we go. So if you have a look there where the eye is, all I'm doing is just going straight through and onto it. And it is as simple as that, guys. There's nothing fancy about it. You take that, you pitch it to the Dorado, and as you see it sitting, sit with your bail arm open. Let the Dorado eat it. Click over your bail arm, tighten up. And of course, your Dorado was there. Next second he's over there and you're still going, what the hell? And the Dorado's jumping behind you. So there we go. It's as easy as that for rigging a dead sardine or a moss bunker live bait and dead bait obviously the mozzie you're just going to take the moss bunker you'll take the moss bunker if this was a mozzie and you're just going to go straight through the top over there on your live moss bunker and you're just going to pitch him out as well that's all you're going to do you've got the attraction of the pink there or the red your moss bunker is going to swim around the rod is going to eat him tighten up and you got him it's as simple as that guys, quick and easy, treble hook. 
Unfortunately, with a treble hook, you tend to gut hook the Dorado quite a bit, so you can't release him. That's the only drawback to a treble hook, guys. Done. Quick and easy trace. That's it.